This is uh, Jim Fetzer, your host on James Fetzer News, with my very special guest today, Jerry Mazza, who is an independent journalist from New York. And Jerry, I take it you've been upset by some recent events here in uh, in the international waters off of Israel. Right. That would be of the Freedom Flotilla, which was uh, bringing aid to the citizens of Gaza and Palestine at large, uh, things like food, water, drugs, uh, wood, wood for repairing structures, everything that, everything basic that's needed to sustain lives in uh, Gaza, which has been turned into the largest con open concentration camp on Earth. That's and they did it, and I don't think this was by accident, on uh, Memorial Day, which is our day uh, for mourning uh, the lost in various wars. And so I in true... It's, Israeli style was as crass and ugly as could be. And I take it that it originated from Turkey, where the Turks had inspected all the ships to ensure that they bore no right. arms or weapons. Right. The ships were vetted and found to be arms-free. These people uh, were peaceful protesters, uh, <clears throat> non-armed. Uh, and they numbered about 800 people, parliamentarians, writers. Uh, I think there may have been a few Nobel Prize winners among the crowd. Uh, and just fine people, brave people willing to put their lives on the line for these fragile Palestinians. My understanding, Jerry, is that the blockade itself is a violation of international law and that Israel has no entitlement to go onto the high seas and board another, another a ship under another flag. That's correct. They're in international waters, and they have no business running their warships around uh, this flotilla, let alone then releasing their choppers uh, to descend on its decks and send these killers uh, from the IDF, set them loose, firing randomly uh, at everybody on board and killing nine and wounding I don't know how many more, uh, which is just totally brutal. You know, it's, to me, very reminiscent of the article that Israelis, Lieberman, made a few months back concerning the uh, Dubai assassination, which was, we can kill anyone, anywhere, for any reason. Are you listening, President Obama? I mean, that is the spirit and tone in which this was done on our holy day, holiday. And I, I think these people have really lost it, uh, really lost it. Jerry, I'm, I've been very concerned. You know, they claim that they were being attacked by the civilians aboard these ships, and they have shown some video of persons swinging what appear to be metal poles. But, Jerry, when I study those images, they, they are persons of the same size, shape, and physical condition, it appears, to the other commandos. The other commandos are there while this is taking place. It appears to me that these are commandos who are almost certainly attacking civilians aboard the ship, not civilians aboard the ship who are resisting the commandos. Right. Well, given your expertise in this area of... Uh playing with film footage or video images, and uh, given the fact that you wrote and edited, well, not wrote, but edited uh, an entire book called the uh, Zapruder Film Hoax, I would trust your judgment. And it sounds very much like Israel to lie about uh, the terrible things that they do. I mean, they talk about having peace 
uh, with the Palestinians at the very time that they're starving these people, killing citizens, mostly children and women. Uh, it's, it's even worse in regard to fakery, Jerry. Kevin Barrett just interviewed an expert who commented on the film that you're talking about, you know, Israeli footage taken from an Israeli ship to this Turkish ship, mm -hmm. and yet the, 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 the stability of the scene from the one ship to the other is completely constant. You see waves in between, Jerry, but it appears to be a fabrication because if these are two ships that are bobbing up and down in the water, there's no way you can have a constant visual image. So I believe that the case for fabrication, for fakery, has been made. Uh, I, I would agree. I mean, uh, but I think that they rely on the fact uh, that only experts can tell this were people with a very sharp eye uh, who are looking for fakery and finding it uh, because it's there, as opposed to general audiences who just uh, stare at a screen blankly and believe whatever it supposedly tells them. I've been stunned by the propaganda offensive that's been taking place by allies of Israel, as I was driving this afternoon, I was hearing a report, a special report on a prominent news station here, asking for support for Israel, standing up for Israel because they are being assaulted by these humanitarians aboard these vessels. Right. And, and as though that weren't bad enough, Jerry, I got an, you know, an internet, an email about this in which they were being described as murderous mercenaries. The humanitarians, Jerry, not the yeah. commandos. The humanit. Well, that is the Israeli style. Uh, to call uh, the offended the offender, right? Isn't that the whole story that they are now holocausting the Palestinians? just as they, just as Jews in another age, were holocausted by the Germans. I mean, this is some kind of sick reversal of history that these people are playing out. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's pathological. And, Jerry, the, the, the argument is being made that they're defending themselves because they have been besieged by artillery shells for a period of some 10 years. I take it there was something like 2,500, and yet, over that 10-year period, the deaths from all of those artillery shells are fewer than the commandos killed during their assault on this humanitarian ship. Right. I mean, we're talking about a two-digit number versus a four- or five-digit number in terms of mortality. Uh, in fa and the larger number is incurred by the Palestinians. Oh, yes, absolutely, Jerry. This, as you say, it's the world's largest concentration camp. The Israelis are depriving them of food, of shelter, of water, of the basic necessities of life. This, in my opinion, is one of the great moral outrages of our time. Right. And, and for all practical purposes, uh, it is being allowed to continue by the United States of America by President Obama and uh, a Rambo uh, Emmanuel uh, and by the Congress. Where is the voice? Yep. Uh, get, this, get this, Jerry. The United States has courageously asked Israel to investigate its own actions in this instance. Oh, boy. How about having the fox look into the hen house? <laughs> Talk about your absurdities, Jerry. Right. Uh, yeah, it, it, it really got me angry. Did you see that poem I sent with you? It, 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 to you? We're going we're gonna to post your poem along with this video, Jerry, on the blog. Okay, good. And I can't thank you enough for coming on to talk about this. Jerry, do you think persons who are critical of Israel for actions like this are anti-Semitic? No, I don't think so. I think they're pro-life, not the, the uh, 
birth kind. I think they're for life, let me put it that way. And Not for, anti-Semite. And for human rights. And for human rights. Jerry Moss, I can't thank you enough. I appreciate your speaking out and your columns about this. I'm very glad you were here today with me. Thank you. It was a pleasure, Jim. Take care.